This beautiful plant is an Alocasia portcora. And I've recently become a fan of these Alocasia plants. This one is planted in a system from Autopot. And this is an Autopot XL pot. And the tubing you see goes back to a reservoir. It is gravity fed, and the uh, water flows through that tubing, and the uh, valve actually goes from a wet dry cycle and is hopefully going to be a perfect solution for that plant. The other plant that I got is an Alocasia California, and this particular plant has already started to put up a lot of baby plants. I've heard that they prefer a um, drier condition and I used a uh, combination of chunky number three perlite as along with the cocoa core that you see. The interesting thing about the babies is I have been wondering since a lot of plants grow nicely in hydroponics, will this one grow in hydroponics as well? What I did was I tried to find some of these baby plants and actually dig away a little bit and see if they're loose or not. And the um, ones that are coming up right now uh, seem to be connected and these are a little bit larger. So what I did was tried to find one of the uh, shoots that was more individual and dig around from the base of it and wiggle that back and forth near the base. And I found that it was attached uh, to the uh, main stalk coming up there. So I worked with it a little bit back and forth. And was able to separate it. Now fortunately, in spite of all that dirt, you might be able to see that uh, there are some roots that are coming off. And there's a lot of that cocoa core that's still attached to the uh, base. So I'd like to be able to wash this off and introduce it into hydroponics. So this is just simple uh, tap water. And so I'm going to start uh, swirling that around in the bottom. And see so if I can get the uh, cocoa core from uh, the base of it. And... It seems like most of that is coming off. So I would say that that was very uh, successful so far. I have these grow sponges and what I ended up doing was uh, I split one down in a half and if I were to separate that out it is going to be able to uh, resemble a little bit of a uh, hamburger bun, you know, if you want to compare it to something. So this is the basket that the uh, grow sponge goes in. It's not exactly a perfect fit. And so let's go ahead and put that into the basket. And this is what I ended up with. So what I'm going to end up doing is putting this into something that's called an air garden. Uh, it's actually a sprout model. This model has a 10 watt LED light and has done quite nicely for starting seeds. So what I'm going to end up doing is putting it into this uh, middle one. I've already raised the uh, light up to its highest height. And basically what I would like to do is see if this plant will root in hydroponics. Because if it does, I would like to be able to grow it in hydroponics and compare it to soil to see how well it does.
So the question is going to be, uh, will it be Cocoa Core and Chunky Perlite? Or will it be a matter of uh, planting it in a system of hydroponics that it will grow better? As a matter of fact, uh, even though this has a very small chamber and a 10 watt light, it should be nice for rooting. And I've already put in some Dynagro 936 complete nutrient, and that will be perfect for a leafy plant. And we'll have to see whether or not this will end up uh, doing very well with uh, rooting and also growing in water. So if it does, it's going to be interesting because a lot of the alocasia plants prefer drying conditions and with the alocasias, uh, we could find out that they do not do well with stagnant water. And if you have a pond condition or extra wet soil, they don't seem to do it quite as well. So if I find that active hydroponics is going to be a great condition to grow these, it's really going to open up a lot of doors for people who have never considered hydroponics with alocasia plants.